Hey Art fans, here we are looking at uh, La Pieta di Ragusa on the left and a replica that was discovered in Rome during the exhibition on the right. The owner thought that he had the original and uh, once this painting was investigated it was pretty much proven that it was a direct copy of my painting, most likely traced right from my painting. And uh, the people investigating this believe, based on the documentation that exists between Cardinal Pole and Cardinal Gonzaga, where Cardinal Pole offers Gonzaga his copy by the hand of Michelangelo in the form of a Pieta, Cardinal Gonzaga responds by saying that he doesn't want to deprive his brother of this work, so he wants his court artist, Giulio Romano, to make a copy for him. So these experts believe that that's what this is, is a copy that was started by Giulio Romano. So an infrared imaging pretty much shows that it was some sort of a direct tracing placed on the panel. It's painted in oil, not in tempera, like my painting is. And, uh, Further investigations are ongoing. The painting cannot leave the country, be restored or sold at this point because they believe it's an important cultural heritage piece. So it's a little bit darker than mine because it hasn't been cleaned or restored in a, before, but uh, if you look at it, you can see that these images are all very, very similar, identical in shape and form. Just some minor differences. The uh, muscle structure of Christ's uh, chest and uh, stomach, you know, are identical. The uh, It looks like there's a colon in my painting and uh, it circulates around the abdomen. And uh, if you look at the replica, it's Every little bend and twist is identically the same. So the shadowing on Christ's upper arms and shoulders are all the same. The shadowing of the angels uh, down by their legs and Christ's legs are all the same. I'm not showing it to you now, but the, uh, the vegetation on the lower part of the painting is the same. It's kind of a rounded mound to the lower left and then below the angels. Uh, on the right side, there's a clump of uh, vegetation also. The horizon and background is a little too dark to see what's going on in the replica, but as far as the, the clothing and the folds of all the clothes, you know, fold for fold, they're identical. If you look at the facial uh, expressions and structures, they're all the same. The Madonna has this grieving very narrow mouth but uh, the look of anguish on her face with large uh, uh, irises and uh, narrow uh, eyebrows angels faces are the same the hair uh, structures the same The uh, legging of the Madonna on the replica is painted pink here, but that from basic investigation seems to be uh, painted over uh, the blue paint that's uh, underneath the red. And uh, the white uh, lacing at the Madonna's neckline also seems to be uh, added at a later date. So, other than that, we're dealing with a copy that was made directly from my painting based on uh, normal beliefs that if you made a direct copy from a painting it's usually uh, from a master artist not some low-level artist so in this case obviously Michelangelo so if a museum had this painting they would be using that to uh, give the attribution to the artist that they're trying to attribute a painting to.
So in this case, it's just one more thing that seems to point in the direction that this was made by a great master, and that master being Michelangelo. So we'll keep this short. You can check it out. I have uh, the same photograph up on uh, my website, theamericanmike.com. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you.